All right guys, so in this video, we're gonna show you how we like to do our water walls with a soft water tie-in. So stay tuned, let's get right into this. All right, so the first thing we're gonna talk about here is where the water comes in. We got our main service. It comes up here, we got one inch pipe. We usually like to put our valve pretty low, but not too low, just in case you don't want it right to the floor. We like to go just, a, I don't know, 12 inches off the ground or whatever with a sleeve under the concrete. And then we always like to leave a minimum of 18 inches before we do any kind of fittings or anything like that. So the reason we do 18 inches here, where we're from, they have water meters. They keep track of how much water you use. So they, this is a brand new house. So water meter's not here. City comes in and hooks it up after all the house is done. So we leave space for the water meter. And then we come along here. We got a one inch line that comes straight up. This is a dual check valve. With a, it's a testable device. So it's a check valve that's testable. Now it's code for us to have them for irrigation. This is for irrigation. And it's just so that water doesn't, so dirt doesn't come back in and get back into your domestic water. So I usually like to put a valve here, even though there's valves on the testable device already, I like to isolate it here in case you ever need to work on it or change it. So I put a valve here, and then I like to have a, a hose bib here so that when you shut it off in the winter, where we're from, it's really cold, we shut this off and we drain it, or they come in here and blow it out through here for the irrigation. So in this case, we have a water softener. The water softener is here. I came up here and I came across. This is, this is our hard water. I put a valve here, this is, this is feeding the entire house, it's gonna feed the whole house, and I like to put a drain valve here so that I can actually drain the house if I ever need to, and put a hose on here and run it to the floor drain. Comes over, ties into the water softener, goes in, comes out, and now all the cold, this from here up, is tying into all the soft water lines into the house, so it's feeding the whole house soft water. And then as you can see here, we still have our hard water that comes across here. So the hard water is going to be any of your drinking water or your hose bibs. So these first two lines are kitchen lines. One goes to a kitchen island. The other one goes to a prep sink that is in a, uh, just in a prep area. So there's two kitchen sinks. We ran two separate lines, valved them off. These two lines here are hose bibs. So the hose bibs are garden hoses. They go outside, one in each corner of the house. I like to have valves. They're supposed to, a lot of times you have these little nipple things that are hard to drain that spray all over the place. So what we like to do is valve and then hose bib so you can properly drain your, your hose bibs. What I like to do is I always open my hose bib on the outside. I shut this valve off, open the hose bib on the outside, then drain this so that it properly drains. And then I actually leave the hose bib outside open all winter just in case some water does freeze. Yeah, so also we have, as you can see here, I, I reduced to half inch. What my plan was to, I just didn't have them on me. I still plan on doing this. So I'm gonna cap this off with three quarter. But the reason I like to leave it three quarter on the end is just in case the homeowner or the builder, whoever wants to add a water line, you can tie into it easier than having to cut things out and redo it. And in this case, somebody did actually, there was some extra stuff, the appliances, the, the stoves, they want to have a filter ran down here. So we actually ran a separate line that was added after all this was done. So now I can easily just put a T here and run this line and put my filter here and I'm gonna tie it in like that. It's just an inline filter that goes to, your, to a steam oven that they want in here. All right guys, thanks for watching. Hope you got some value out of this one. If you have any questions for us, just leave a comment. Uh, if you haven't already, don't forget to smash that subscribe button. We'll see you on the next one.